Hello, friends. Welcome back to another episode of Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries. We are moving into the very end of the campaign. We're in the la we've got about uh, about three or so missions left to finish out the storyline. And we're running pretty close to maximum tonnage right now. And I think we're going to go straight through with what we have. We're not going to go looking for any, any more mechs. We're not really going to go looking for any more pilots. We've got good pilots with good stats. We are going to take Major Sampson here. We got two two sixties and a fifty eight. That's plenty good enough. And we're going with the highest levels. Oh, we got a fifty four, fifty eight, fifty four, sixty, and fifty four, sixty. There are people. Oh. The only one who's a little low is Major Walton on the Banshee with the slightly lower defensive numbers, but ma maxed out avoidance. So I think we can live with that. The ban still, Banshee's still 95 ton mech, good amount of armor. We've got it loaded up. We've got our uh, basically our energy weapon build on there. I think we're going to go straight with that. We can leave Major Sims on the Highlander where he can work on those missiles. And same with Major Samson. We're not going to worry about uh, Major Walton on the missiles at all. So let's get right into it. We got a smash and grab against uh, Comstar. They are basically our sole opponents for the rest of the campaign. And we're going to get in there and we are going to cause some havoc. we got to get to Comstar's communications hub and blow it to the ground. Now these missions, the they can be online. really tough. Sensors they throw a lot online. of enemies at you. Weapons you really got to have your head on a swivel with these. All systems nominal. And we are in the fog. We just don't have our location on the map. Okay, we can hope uh, Rihanna gets out of our way here. So we're headed kind of uh, northwest. Uh, there we are, down in the corner. All right, so we're going to just tool our way around these rocks. We're going to work in there nice and slow. Keep our eye out for anything that wants to come and mess with us. I think what we're going to do is we're going to take the long way around here. Yeah, we could go up towards that, that central area and kind of get into a choke point. But that's pretty much your expected path. We go up that way we're definitely going to see some conflict. Question is how much we can narrow it down. Instead of what we're going to do is we're going to move our way down to the straight west and then we're going to cut up north and get it along the back side. Hopefully able to strike at the back of the complex with minimal resistance. Well, they're uh, <laughs> I'm sitting there, I'm paying attention to talking to you guys. Uh. And here we got every every everything coming our way. We got it. <laughs> like I said, head on a swivel right now. Just get, get after everything that we can. Get these partisans down. Target 
Target acquired. Demolisher. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Another partisan. Destroyed. What do we got first? There we go. Just gotta make sure we get everything. Stay back. Alright, everything off the board. There we go. Looks like they are right around behind us. Uh, minor damages. Not too bad. Uh, you're hurting. Yeah, these guys are hurting a little bit. They took the brunt of it, getting right up in front of everything. Now, m most of our enemy is going to be arrayed to the north of us. That's where we got to keep our eyes open while we move west. Uh, we're just going to stick to the plan. Just keep moving west, cut around the back side of the complex. As we want to try to defeat them in detail. Keep them nice and separated. Where we can... Can we? Yeah, we can hit it. I don't know if we did any damage, but... <laughs> definitely registered a hit there. And we are only 726 meters on the Gauss. Alright, that's done. Alright, now we're getting max. Yeah, I thought that was a Manticore. I saw that PPC blast. Can we get him? Manticore down. Okay. We're about where we want to cut north now. We're going to keep it slow. There we go. These Edgars. Oh, there we go. Warrior up top. And we got some assault mechs showing up now. Okay. We really want to get these tanks down. It's a lot of firepower in a small package. All right, you guys get that. Oh, that was a nice cockpit shot right there. Let's go. Okay, he's down. Alright, we got LRM carriers. You've got to go first. Got to get these movers. Just a matter of getting firepower off the board. Come on, guys, get that awesome down. Igor gotta go. It's too much firepower. Fire. You're non. Okay, turrets don't need to worry about. And if we can get it, we take it.
I am a little bit concerned right now about our missile expenditure. Jerk that one a little bit. Goodbye. Alright, let's get this guy down. Locus is next. And there we go. Let's move in now. Uh, turrets over there. Turrets over there. Okay, what's... We're getting hit by something. And I don't know what it is. Alright. Next coming down. Ah, uh, Partisan. Let's get the Partisan down, guys. Okay, we got two assassins on the board. And a Jaeger mech, which has to go. Alright, we got a lot going on now, again. I want that Jaeger mech off the board, guys. Assassin doesn't worry me. Now we get him. Alright, let's get in close. Now we gotta go for... You guys get Irby. Alright, that was Sims on the Highlander. Okay, that's the left arm. Not too bad. The left arm is the, just the medium lasers. It's the right arm that has the Gauss rifle. That's really the concern there. Oh, we're down to 10 shots on the Gauss now. Alright. Let's get in here. Let's start some wrecking. I want to try to slow down. Hold the Gauss rifle just to use against uh, mechs. Alright, there we go. There we go. Oh, that wasn't good. Okay. Where's that rifleman? Alright, guys. Come on, guys. Alright, you got him. Down to 30%. A little bit more to go. Uh, we can't walk through too many of these. Come on, guys. Get him. Get him. Alright. Let them take it, and I'll take finish the base. Oh. He's gonna be so kind as to, uh, you know, line himself up for me. We're going to have to take out this Rifleman, too. Alright, give him some, uh, a few more LRMs there. 
We're down to 2% on this target, so I'm not too worried right now. Oops. That was a wrong button right there. There we go. That's it. We're out of here. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, yo. That's me. Do not shoot me. Oh, boy. Alright, that's out of here. You guys get that. Alright, is that our ride? Yes, that is our ride right there. They can take out that cicada, and we are on our way home. Alright. Hey, we managed to keep ourselves in good shape, at least. They just lost a medium laser. What about uh, uh, the Banshee's taking a little bit of damage there. What about uh, the Highlander? Yeah, we're not seeing that. Okay. But hey, there we go. Successful, successful drop. And punish Comstar. Now we can take a couple of Jaeger Max. We can take Awesome. Shadowhawk. Uh, we'll take that and we'll take the Auto Cannon 5 Burst Fire. Why don't we take the Medium Lasers? No. We're going to take two Medium Lasers. We only have one left. And we definitely want to make sure that we are putting our mechs into prime shape. Look at that. Wow. One of the first times they've beaten me out for damage. Major damage this round. But only, uh, didn't take too much. Oh, so now we got to go back, talk to Rihanna. Find out what our next step is. Has she gotten the next set of coordinates uh, set up? Have you? Hi, Commander. This encryption <laughs> of course is it is. It's also frustrating as hell. Each set of coordinates your father had was designed to be progressively more difficult to unlock, though I'm not certain why. That said, I've been tackling okay. all three of them in parallel. And with Spears' help, progress has accelerated nicely. Okay, tell me you got another one. If it weren't for the advanced computing resources made available by IE, I'd never have unlocked them. You're not telling me you got a way of telling you that I've managed to okay. find a set of coordinates. We finally unlocked another potential there we go. to your father's past. That's great. I hope these coordinates reveal more than the last set did. Have faith, Commander. Get us okay. the system and let's see what we find. You never know. We might just get lucky. Well, hopefully. Copy that. Inform Spears that we're on the move. Okay. Now wait around here a second yeah, we just got to do some repairs and we're, we're good. All right, so let's hit the star map. Got to head back to Hartzell. See what we can find here. Now, of course, if we are offered, you know, Hero Max, we are going to check them out, see what we can find. I don't know if there's a, what it would be that we would be picking up. Um, King Crab and a Zeus, it looks like. So let's take that. That's our next destination. Uh, yeah, that's the B. Hmm. Oh, the ma Mauler. That's a, that's a nice mech. I like the Mauler. And the Zeus 6T. Okay, so let's sell off. That's a question. Uh, I should be dropping with the Atlas and not the second Highlander. Alright, let's sell the awesome. Okay. So you need a Gauss ammo, three medium lasers, and a heat sink. Okay, let's get some ammo, Gauss ammo. Get a heat sink. And let's get three medium lasers. There you go. 
Okay, we start the work there. The Banshee is a straight repair. Oh, wow. Oh, that, that could have been really bad. So you get uh, medium laser. That works out for you. They're all nicely synced. Start the work there, and we'll repair this one. Hey, okay. you know I am. I'm actually. Oh, let's see. so it's an LRM15 large laser. The only difference between the two of these is uh, this one has a little bit more armor. A little bit more armor and Artemis instead of the standard. So this probably has uh, improved either a you know a light engine, extra light engine, or um, ferro and or endo steel. Actually, most likely ferro and or endo steel because of the the tonnage. When you see that point ninety eight. That's usually a sign that there's uh, improved structure, armor, or the extra light engine. Check out the map. Oh, we have a hero mech on offer at Altona. This might be something to go after. Um, I'm looking at a boar's head. Definitely take that. Definitely take that. And it's a fire starter. Not what I'm looking for right now. Centurions, Orions. All right. We'll check out the rare mech here. As we have to hop skip back to Hartzell to be able to get up into, far enough into the deep periphery to hit that, uh, that star system. Oh. What do you have for me? Ah, it's a Mauler MX-90. Now, this is actually, you know, these are these are pretty nifty. And you can do, uh, you can do, you can do well with those. You can definitely do well with those. No 3H Stalker. Prepped and ready, Commander. Yeah, I know. We said we wouldn't look, but we're going to look anyway. <laughs> of course, we're going to look anyway. I mean, really? Come on, guys. <laughs> All right, here we go. All the way out to HD yada yada yada. And we find out what we have to deal with here. And we got to speak to Rihanna. Commander, Good thing we stayed here. Scans. This planet appears to be the location uh, of a lost star Starport. league spaceport. Unfortunately, it also appears that once again, Oh, of course Comstar has gotten here before us. Why were these coordinates so important to Yamada if Comstar already had them? Why were they worth killing for? I don't Who knows? Know. The more pertinent question is, how does this location tie into your Maybe they didn't past? know. Let's focus on that for now. Well, let's focus on killing Comstar. It's with first. <laughs> Good. And then we'll try to figure out what kind of answers we can get out of this place. Okay, we got Reckoning here. Okay, we take the contracts. Here's our campaign. We get our salvage. Uh, 14 out of 17. 390 ton limit, huh? Okay, let's see. Okay, I forgot to put something on there. But that's okay. You're going to get the Atlas. <laughs> You're going to get the Atlas RS. And we're going to go up to 385. We got a little more tonnage in hand that we I mean, we could have been using a higher tonnage on the last on the last drop. So, let's get uh, let's get the Atlas in there. We have it to use. Let's use it. Let's drop as much as we possibly can on the battlefield. Let's not uh, we need to not not leave anything uh, anything behind. Uh, what we might do is the next time we go for repairs, we drop down everything we're not going to use. 
we take all, all of our, uh, strip all of the, uh, the equipment, put the best stuff onto, onto our mechs. Does that have an SRM-6 on it? Or is that an LRM-5? I don't... Ooh. I should have checked that a little closer. Because if he's got an SRM on him, that Reactor could be a problem. Online. Just because online. of the way that uh, the AI online. prioritizes system optimum system. distance. Okay, here we go. Ring around the Rosie again. Okay, so we head down. And then we go up and around. That'd be nice. One thing is, I feel like we're a little bit light on Gauss ammo for this. But we should start seeing some enemies soon. Okay, we're through first point. They want us going up to the next one up here. No, we are not going to go through that valley. We're going to come around and pick it up from the next one right here so that we have a little better vision of the field. There we go. Now, what's up there, guys? I feel like something's coming. Got that little itch in the back of my, uh, right between my shoulder blades, like somebody's about to plant a knife there. Okay, where? Let's see. You know, you get that feeling you're waiting for the other shoe to drop. Yes, walking through all these abandoned outposts. There we go. Let's get that down. The Raven, huh? Alright, can we get him down yet? Crab. Come on. Let's get him, guys. Get him. Alright, there's not much left of him. Alright. First engagement down. Tango down. All right, everyone's all right. A couple of armor scratches. I didn't really like the way that engagement started. Could have done a little bit better there. Should be seeing another engagement soon. I think as we come around the bend up here, get into uh, probably another patrol. I'm thinking flyers, maybe a couple of light mechs. But I feel like we're going to see them as we come around up here where these gates are. Let's keep our eyes peeled. More yep. Your way. There they are. This never gets old. Target 
All right, that's down. That's down. Okay, what else? All right. That <laughs> was that the last gasp of missile fire or something? <laughs> Get in there. Okay, good. There's that patrol. Alright, we move on to the next waypoint. Yeah, just taking it nice and slow. Make sure we don't push too far out, trigger too many events, and get, uh, get ourselves in a little too deep. I think we're going to start seeing more mechs soon. We're pulling the... Uh, the heavy end of the vehicle spectrum right now with the between the demolishers and the uh, the Igors. What do we got here? Okay, turret down. Oh, of course. You know when you talk about it, Rihanna, it happens. Yeah, I think we start seeing mechs soon. Definitely think we start seeing mechs soon. Did you guys destroy it? Or is it still coming? I don't want that auto cannon 5 in my back. All right, there we go. All right, let's get going, guys. We don't want them distracted either. We need all of our people. We need them focused. We need them thinking about what's going on ahead of us. And we need to make sure there's nothing behind us either. All right. There's the next waypoint. This must have been an impressive spaceport in its day. Look at all these support buildings. Yeah. Alright, there we go. There's that one down. Alright guys, get that Mac. Alright guys, get away from it! Oh, you fools. You fools! Ah, oh, boy. <laughs> Just got the Atlas, uh... Shaved down pretty good right there. All right, let's uh, let's move on to the next checkpoint now. We get through this uh, this urban section. All right, I think we got pretty much a straight side shoot right here. Okay. Well, that's good. Target 
Alright, took both of them down. Guys, get those Igors down. Oh, we're taking a lot of damage now. Let's more tanks. Okay, there we go. Ouch. I don't like to see that red armor in the center torso, but that's what we got to deal with. You're looking good. give me any other target for that one. Alright. Now we gotta run through this little choke point here. If you want to be paranoid about something, this is a good thing to be paranoid about right here. With very little visibility. I don't know why he's going up, pathing up through there. We're all nice and spread out right now. I think we're going to slow down up here real soon, and we're going to let everybody regroup. We're getting a little too strung out right now. Banshee's in good shape. Uh, the RS is all right. All right, let's get moving again. Yeah. Yeah. Extraordinary, isn't it? When it was still in service, that thing could carry twelve mechs into battle all at once. All right. Three full lances. Okay, that's all. From what I'm seeing, this spaceport was for more than a simple refueling station. But when Star League was still in charge of the Inner Sea, guys, we need that Kentaro down. Must have been a key transport hub. Acquired. Yeah, before the Exodus, before the Succession Wars. But there's still a lot of valuable stuff buried around here. Clear out these Comstar forces and we can find out. Or oh, that was a... That was a solid mess. I'm on it. We got that Demolisher down. We got a lot of priority targets here. Let's see if we can get that one down. Oh, uh, you're on my way. You are hardcore in my way right there. You're down. Alright, that's down. Ah, that's a solid miss right there. Okay, you're good. Now, this isn't your typical griffin here. Not where you can just uh, peel off that right side and you're good to go. You want to grind through him real quick. Just right through that center torso headshots if you can get them. Normally, one end, you just peel off that right side and he'll eject. The, uh, the 1S has a better balance on its loadout. You got wep weaponry on both sides. Okay, now we're going to come around here to the east. So our next shot right on the other side of the dropship and then we got to get around that little mountainous area right right up here. I mean, I'm looking at the topography and I'm thinking about going to the west. 
So let's see if they lead us around by the nose. See if we're close enough to actually trigger the next one. Okay, they just want us in there. But we're going to take this our way. We're going to come over here to the east. We've got a nice open field here. We're going to come around on the other side of this hill so we can kind of guard our flanks with it. And I think we are very shortly going to take a, another quick pause and let our lance catch up with us. We are getting a little strung out. It is important to stay together for mutual support. I want to make... I have lance mates. I've got them for a reason. I want to make sure they're here for me. Okay. We're coming up on it. Let's get a little high ground up here. All right, so we are gonna cut through this little valley. Let's go, do we see anything? No, nothing triggering yet. So what I wanna do is I wanna kinda use these walls. See if we can't get something to trigger here. Enemy dropship inbound, Commander. All right. Where is it? I don't see it. Our question is, is it to our left or to our right? There it is. Start taking them out. Battlemaster first. All right, let's get them off the board. Come on. All right, Highlander next. Uh, missed that shot. That was bad. Alright, that was the Atlas D that lost the component there. We got the Orion and the Black Knight. Yeah, I know you are. I'm not worried about it. We just hit our buddy right there. Yeah, we did. I think we just shot him in the back. Fortunately, I'm not too worried about him. Yeah, he's all right. <laughs> all right. Um, you. Over there. My father's victor. All right. We're gonna we're gonna cut him out of the uh, out of the battle right now. Because this is where things have a chance to get a little hairy.
Actually, we're going to get everybody right there. I'm going to trigger the event and I'm going to retreat back. There we go. Where is it? There it is. All right. Okay, here we go. You ordered the death of my father. You're not leaving this place alive, Yamada. All right. We want these light mechs first. That was a nice headshot on that flake. We want to peel off his flankers first. All right, I've only got ten shots on the on the gas left, and those have got to be saved for the annihilator. Come on, give me, give me range. All right. Because he's going to go right for me. All right, that was a nice headshot right there. Damn it. There we go. Alright, we got him. Alright. Maybe we picked up the Annihilator too. I think we finished him off with a headshot. Everybody just hang out right there. I'll finish this one off. Hey, let's find out what uh, Yamada was willing to die for. Is this, this a repair bay? But the return signal was partially corrupted. This is our... Okay. Alright. Let's activate it. What do we have here? Whoa! There we go. Go! Look at that! Looks like we got ourselves a new toy. All right. Nice. Now that's uh. All right. We have maxed the reputation. Picked up the Night Star, Double Gauss ERPPC, Pulse Lasers, and we got the Annihilator on offer there, which we're going to take because honestly, I've never had a chance to play around with one, and I want to. Now we'll take a couple AC tens to round it out. Major Sims. Kicking butt and taking names over there. And Major Samson made it back. All right. I think we're going to leave it there. We will uh, speak with Rihanna and find out 
our next steps in the next episode. I hope everyone enjoyed it. I had a great time. If you did, please leave a like. I appreciate it. If you'd like to see more, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.